I have already started two terminal uh, windows and I'm already unlocking one and uh, you can see now the load on the VMs and I'll be selecting site 2 and I will log in on the other terminal to the same side I'll just list my home directories I'm going to remove that file I've already copied and copy Bit of file from the group workspace area workshop here. So, this is the first example script I need to run. But before this, I'm going to explore the software environment available via the module system. I'll do a module avail. This is showing me the different. Um, software, Jasby, different compilers on the left, Intel. But I'm interested just to uh, add the Jasby environment, and I'll be adding the uh, the, uh, the latest one by just using module add Jasby. And if I do module list. Just an I, so I have this version. Now, before I submit, um, I execute my script. I'm just gonna explore a bit um, the monitoring utility because I need to have this running just to see what I have. So I use top minus u. My username is train zero forty nine. So the, these are the processes owned by me. They have different processes ID number. And the only command that is running is the current top command. The others are the bash um, interpreter because I have two terminal windows and I have um, done I have two SSH. So this is the SSH the daemon. So that is fun. I can leave leave this running and I execute my script. Now, as soon as I hit the key, um, the N key and K, I'm gonna be watching my process on the blue terminal window. You can see here my process is gone. Thirty-six percent. So I can quit the top. Because top is interactive. You can see here that it's 36% and it's 1.7 memory. And there was a sleep mode just to see how much memory um, is being um, uh, is, is still not released. So that's the reason for it, for it to look at it, um, to have had that delay of sleep. So let me run it again. So I'm going to run my top first. So I've got five processes. I'm gonna run it again now. I'll, I'll watch the sh um, the process. So in sleep mode. So the CPU is zero. But the memory is still 3.3%. So the process, even in sleep mode, it didn't release the memory. So this is important to remember that the memory used, physical memory, is one gigabyte. And this machine has in total 32 gigabytes shared by by all users. 
So if you have many processes using this 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 amount of memory, that is will definitely be be um, will cause a crash to the machine. So we ha you have to, to be careful with this. Now uh, the second part of the exercise, I'm gonna edit the um, script. So I'll do it in this monitoring window. Um, I'm gonna use the um, the uh, Vim text editor. And so I'm gonna go to the line where the variable nr is defined and I'm gonna change the number from 1000 to 500. So I've got escape and I save the file. And I launch my monitoring utility on the blue terminal and then I rerun the script. And I can see now it's so it's zero point four percent. So the va the memory is lower because we just generated five hundred number that that were written to the to the RAM. So um, let's see what else is running on the on the side machine. So if I do adjust the top, it gives you an idea. So I can see uh, some heavy processing here. CPU around seventy nine percent, thirty to hundred. And you can also check the memory uh, used from this line here. gives also the number of running processes and uh, how much CP has been used here which is 25% is been used so it's not bad at this time and um, we'll move then uh, to the uh, second example script in this demo I will test for potential multi-threading using the second Python example script. I will copy the script here add the jazz B environment then execute script before, before executing it or launch the monitoring utility using the flag minus h to show if there is any potential multi threading. Now I enter, I can see already it's been spawned. So there are um, eight threads has been spawned. Now I'm gonna I will set the environment variable OMP num threads to one, and I rerun the script. And I launch the monitoring utility on the script now. There's only one one Python process. So this works by setting the variable environment from uh, on the shell. So now I'll, I'll um, set this variable within the script by incrementing the line of code, which I will show you next, which is os.environment, which is set to 2. I'll save. 
this uh, script and I'll uh, prepare to run it. And um, this time I'm going to use another utility, which is ps minus t minus p. So when I run the code, so it's process 1800938. So what this ps shows me, it shows the main process PID mind 1800 and the two uh, threads has been spun. So the setting within the script overtook the setting uh, that was global and this setting limited the number of thread spawns to two. I can also um, rerun it within one if I want to change it. So just to, just to be aware that if this variable, if the export variable is um, included in the in the dot bash RC, whenever there is any, any potential of multi-threading, it, it will be limited. Or it can be also included in the script file.